I'm Derek and welcome to the Power of Public YouTube channel. Today we're going to be changing the front sprocket of the Rotax 125 race engine here. I'm going to show you how to get that done. It's a pretty simple job, it takes a couple of minutes. Uh, and uh, yeah, so let's get into it. So we've got the breaker bar, 17mm ring spanner, 5mm Allen key, 38mm impact socket, 17mm impact socket, 5mm in hex socket. These are the parts we're going to be changing out, which is the brand new 11 tooth with the bush already pressed in, and the brand new style Rotax clutch trough 2016. Um, this is, this tool here is from Rotax. It's here to hold the the sprocket and stop it from rotating, so you can put the rattle gun on the to to get the clutch trough on, on and off easy and not chew up your hands. And this is a locking tool for the for the ring gear, so it doesn't spin when you're undoing it. So, I'm going to show you the way I do it, which is I use the 5mm in it, undo the clutch cover. If you're using it by, if you're doing it by hand, put that guy into there. It just locks on so that you can put your 17mm ring spanner on. Okay, just want to undo that. If you lay it out as you pull it off, you can't go wrong when you put it back together. Okay, so that's the order of the parts. Now this is the little sucker we're going to be changing today. So we grab our one of those guys and the 11 tooth, the smallest, put the old one in. We need to take the nut and the pin off for the new one. This is a lot easier with a rattle gun. If you want, you can use the breaker bar. But you need to put this in a vise because it's going to be pretty tight, like 100 newton meters. So, if you've got yourself a rattle gun, get your rattle gun, undo the nuts, remove the old drum which has been cracked. That's why we're changing it. Sometimes these ones, these ones crack a little bit, so you keep your eye out for that. The new ones are reinforced here, so hopefully they don't crack as much. Now this is a little dowel pin. Okay, sometimes that can get stuck in here and that's why we've got the moldy grips on hand so you can just put them on there pull it out chuck that guy in there new one goes on lock tight just put it put some in there put some in there all right and then screw that on with your fingers okay you don't want to cross thread it just screw that into there rattle gun good to go. Otherwise you put it in here, put it in the in a bench vise, just crank it up with this guy. You need about 100 newton meters of torque, which is this sort of break about full noise. Otherwise you can get a uh, you know, something like this, which is a, uh, a torque wrench, a big torque wrench, and set it at 110 newton meters. And you can go. Righto, so now we put it all back together. First goes on the thrust washer, or any sort of grease here. Just smear that on, not too much. Got the new bush here. Okay, just a tiny bit of grease, you don't want it spraying up inside the clutch, otherwise it will slip. Slide that guy on there like that. Tiny bit of Loctite. Thrust washer, or retaining washer. Retaining nut. Now, an interesting fact, make sure that when you're using 11 that you're using the small washer. And if you're using the 12 tooth sprocket, it has a, it runs a bigger washer here. So if you go between the two, between the 11 and the 12, don't get caught out using the wrong retaining washer. 17 mil. You can just give it a little light zap with the rattle gun, otherwise you can use it. The spanner about full noise is pretty much enough. It, it doesn't make the clutch drive, it's just a retaining nut and washer just to hold the clutch drum from coming off. Now, you got to remove that, put the clutch cover back on. Just double check that, because they're only plastic, it's probably best not to do them up with a rattle gun, otherwise you can just severely over tighten them. 
Okay guys, thanks for watching. That's how we uh, install, remove and replace a front sprocket for a Rotax Max 125 and the clutch drum as well. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Also to the uh, www.powerrepublic.com.au for all the parts that are here in the video and anything else. And uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.